हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो वेलकम अगेन ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल माइक्रो बायोलॉजी बाय संतोष नपते सो टुडे वी विल सी अबाउट द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ वाटर बॉन्ड डिसीजेस व्हिच आर कॉज्ड बाय माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स सो फ्रेंड्स इन लास्ट लेक्चर we have studied about the microbiological examination of water by using different methods and in today's lecture we will see these different types of water borne diseases which are caused by microorganisms before going further first we will see what is mean by these water borne diseases so water borne diseases are those diseases which are caused due to the consumption or drinking of contaminated water because if that water is contaminated that means it consists of different types of pathogenic microorganisms and if we drink such contaminated water which consists of pathogenic microorganisms then we will suffer from the different types of diseases so if that diseases are occurring because of consumption of contaminated water or because of drinking of contaminated water so such type of diseases are called as water borne diseases and what are these water borne diseases are here these are broadly classified into three different types so the first one is here those diseases which are caused by we can see here protozoan diseases then second one is here we will see bacterial water borne diseases and third type of water borne diseases are caused due to the viruses so these are the viral water borne diseases so in this way we will see these different types of diseases and all these diseases these are caused due to the pathogenic microorganisms so whatever these water borne diseases are here all these water borne diseases these are caused due to the pathogenic microorganisms so let's start with one by one here that is first we will start about the that water borne diseases which are caused due to the bacteria so we will start here with water borne diseases which are caused due to bacteria because bacteria these are also the one type of microorganisms here so we we'll start with the bacteria okay so here so these there are different types of bacteria are here which causes this water borne diseases so in tabular format i am going to explain here in first column we will see the disease and its transmission or the name of the disease then in second column we will see that is microbial agent or we can see here, say here causative agent of that particular disease water borne disease then in third column we will see sources of agent in that water supply that is how this causative agent or that pathogenic microorganisms they are entering into the water supply that is nothing but the sources okay and then we will see the general symptoms of that particular disease so in this way we will study these different types of water borne diseases and we are starting with the bacterial water borne diseases so this bacterial water borne diseases means these are caused due to the different types of bacteria because these different types of pathogenic bacteria if they are present in water and if we drink this contaminated water 
then we can suffer from the different types of diseases. So the first we will see botulism. So the causative agent of this botulism disease is Clostridium botulinum. So this is the name of microbial agent or actually it is a bacteria or it is a causative agent of this botulism and name of this causative agent is Clostridium botulinum. So this bacteria they enter into this water supply that is or enter an open wound from the contaminated water. So if that water consists of this Clostridium botulinum and they can enter in an open wound through this or from this contaminated water or they can enter the gastrointestinal tract or in short it is called as GIT gastrointestinal tract through the consumption or drinking of this contaminated water or more commonly this botulism it is actually also a food borne disease because it is also caused due to the consumption of contaminated food which is or which get contaminated with this Clostridium botulinum. So this is about the sources of agent. Then what are the symptoms of this botulism? So the symptoms includes dry mouth, that in includes blood or double vision because sometimes that whatever that objects these are not or cannot be observed clearly so they can be observed as a blood images or objects or sometimes there is a double vision is there then there is another symptom is here that is difficulty in swallowing then muscle weakness then difficulty in breathing then slurred speech then vomiting and sometimes there is diarrhea and death generally occur due to the failure of respiratory system. So this is about the first disease that is bacterial waterborne disease that is known as botulism. Then second we will see as campylobacteriosis. So the causative agent of this campylobacteriosis is campylobacter jejuni. This is the causative agent. Then drinking water and contaminated with that is drinking water which get contaminated with fecal matter. So how this Campylobacter jejunate enters into the water supply? So this bacteria that is Campylobacter jejuni it enters into the water supply through the contaminated water which get contaminated with feces or that fecal matter. What are the symptoms here? So it causes dysentery like symptoms along with the high fear and usually it lasts such or the symptoms of this campylobacteriosis these are last for 2 to 10 days okay then next disease is that is third disease cholera the causative agent of this cholera is vibrio cholerae all of you are are familiar with this cholera disease and it enters into the water supply with or contaminated with the bacterium or that fecal matter. Now the symptoms includes it causes or it is one of the most rapidly fatal illnesses known and that symptoms includes watery diarrhea then it includes nausea then cramps or abdominal cramps we can say here nose bleeding and rapid pulse or high pulse rate then it also includes symptoms includes vomiting then hypovolemic shock that is in severe cases at which point the death of that person or patient can occur in 10 to 12 18 hours so this is about the cholera now the fourth type of bacterial waterborne disease is E. coli infection, Asian E. coli infection, as the name suggests here, the causative agent of this E. coli infection is Asian E. coli, or commonly it is called as E. coli. The sources of agent that water contaminated with the bacteria when it enters into the water supply, so that water get contaminated, and symptoms includes diarrhea, 
which can cause the death in immunocompromised patients or individuals then that elderly person they are the death occurs due to dehydration from the prolonged illness so this is about the e coli infection the next one is here mycobacterium marinum infection which is caused due to the mycobacterium marinum this bacteria naturally occurs in water and generally these are cases from the swimming pools or more frequently these are from the aquariums and there is a rare infection since it mostly infects the immunocompromised individuals in which in which that individuals there is no proper immune functioning symptoms includes lesions typically located on the elbows knees and feet from the swimming pools or that lesions can also occurs on the hands generally in uh, that occurs to the aquariums and lesions may be painless or sometimes these lesions are painful okay so this is about the mycobacterium marinum marinum infection now the next infection or the bacterial infection actually it is a that is dysentery so this dysentery that is the next disease or which is a water borne disease and it is caused due to the bacteria as we are studying here so the next disease is dysentery it is caused by the number of species in the genera of shigella and salmonella and the most common is shigella dysentery here this is the name of bacteria which is responsible for or which is a causative agent of this dysentery and this occurs in the water supply through the water which is contaminated with this bacteria and the symptoms includes frequent passage of fecus feces with blood and or mucus and in some cases there is a vomiting of blood in that patient next disease is here legionellosis so the causative agent of this legionellosis is legionella or that is the cases caused by the legionella nemophila then how this bacteria enters into water supply so generally this is a very common bacterium that reproduces to the high numbers in warm water but there are some cases are there or severe disease when it is aerosol so the symptoms includes pontic fever that is causing the mild symptoms and it includes acute influenza without pneumonia then the severe symptoms includes fever chills then pneumonia then ataxia anorexia malaise and occasionally there is a diarrhea and vomiting so these are the symptoms of this legionellosis next waterborne bacterial disease is leptospirosis so this is caused due to the bacterium leptospira so how this enters into water so it is enters through the water in water through the contaminated water by the animal urine which carries this leptospira bacteria and the symptoms includes or they begins with the flu like symptoms then automatically that symptoms get resolved but later on the second phase occurs which involves meningitis that is the infection or inflammation of meninges then liver damage which causes the jaundice and there is a failure of kidneys so these are the symptoms of this leptospirosis the next waterborne disease is otitis externa or which is also called as swimmer's ear so this is caused by the number of bacteria as well as fungal species it enters into the water swimming and to the contaminated by this causative agent and the symptoms includes ear canal swelling of ear canal which causes the pain and tenderness to the touching next waterborne disease is that is bacterial waterborne disease is salmonellosis it is caused due to the bacteria known as salmonella so this enters into the drinking water through the contaminated water which get contaminated with this salmonella typhi or salmonella and it is also a 
फूड बॉर्न डिसीज और फूड बॉर्न इलनेस सिम्टम्स इंक्लूड डायरिया फीवर होमिटिंग एंड एबडोमिनल क्रैम्स द नेक्स्ट बैक्टीरियल डिसीज विच इज कॉज ड्यू टू दिस दैट इज ड्रिंकिंग ऑफ कंटेमिनेटेड वाटर एंड दैट इंक्लूड्स सो द नेक्स्ट डिसीज इज दैट इज कॉज ड्यू टू दी कंटेमिनेटेड वाटर इट इज टाइफाइड 